To appreciate the latest advancements in vascular surgery at Baylor Heart and Vascular Hospital in Dallas, it's necessary to go back to the beginning. In 1964, Dr. Jesse Thompson established a vascular fellowship program, the second of its kind in the U.S. When I decided that I wanted to pursue vascular surgery, they said, you need to go work with Jesse Thompson. See how they do things down there, he's the king. On April 16th, 1957, Dr. Thompson performed Dallas' first carotid endarterectomy. It became the standard for the next half century. Carotid endarterectomy is our tried and true way of doing things for the past 50 years. In fact, the carotid shunt was pretty much invented by Dr. Jesse Thompson, who was the founder of our group and the founder of our fellowship, which is the second oldest training program in the country. Fast forward to today and you're watching a new procedure being formed at Baylor Heart and Vascular Hospital on patients for which the carotid endarterectomy is not feasible. It's called transcarotid artery revascularization, or TCAR. Once again, Baylor is leading innovation in the surgical management of strokes. With this particular procedure, there is a reversal of flow set up where we get flow from the brain back down toward the carotid artery. The greatest risk with any procedure on a carotid artery is that tiny particles within the plaque can travel to the brain and cause a stroke, even with an embolic protection device in place. There's no flow up toward the brain, so any particulate matter that would have caused a stroke, it gets pulled out into a filter, so it's really unique in that manner. I mean, Baylor is an epicenter for this type of technology, and we're, we're very proud to embrace it. I'm Tony Martinez with another first at Baylor Heart and Vascular Hospital, Dallas.